Melbourne pop superstar Annie Lennox has been back in her home city for an exhibition on her life and inspiration. The House of Annie Lennox contains everything from costumes and music videos to items from her school days in the Granite City. Fiona Stalker went to meet her. There, there are these placards and they are excerpts from my school reports that says that I really should have worked harder at needlework. Well, I got 86, which wasn't bad. I think it was a... So, something... Well, I got a... Oh, I just got distinction. That's all right. School days sharing the exhibition space with iconic items from a music career spanning 40 years. I, I never really knew that at the end of the day, what I was going to do with all these discs and all these costumes and all these photographs and all these mem memorabilia. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not exactly a hoarder, but um, I'm very sentimental about things. <laughs> well, I like a bit of bling, Fiona. The artist has been back in Aberdeen overseeing the installation of the exhibition. She's also fighting plans to transform the city centre, despite claims it'll create 8,000 jobs. The Aberdeen is a grand city and all it really needs is some tender loving care and the right investment to really just give it some polish and sparkle and also to allow the citizens of Aberdeen to take ownership and not just say, oh, it's down to the city council. They have to come out onto the streets and say, no, you're, you know, we own our green spaces, we own the city and we're proud of it. <laughs> This is the world of imagination and creativity. And I hope that when people come here, they'll, they'll get a glimpse into that world. Fiona Stalker, Reporting Scotland, Aberdeen.